guys and welcome back to Disney's Dreamlight Valley. I thought I would go through with you Scar's first task, nature or nurture. Now the first thing we have to do is investigate what is happening. Why the river's dried up and he's got no stuff left. So I'll have to go and talk to Scar and I have to say Scar is one of my favourite Disney villains. He's great. So let's go and talk to him then. Find out where he is. He's in here. And he's up by that big elephant thing. There he is up there. See where that elephant's head is. Now, I was going to read you everything out that he says. Because I, I just think um, Scar's so funny. But to be honest, when I'm doing the voiceover and the screen is smaller, I can't actually see everything. It's a bit too small. <sighs> there he is, look at him. So let's go and talk to him. Oh, hello. Well, well, if it's in Laney, it's been a long time. <laughs> I was beginning to think you were trapped in here forever. I'm just kind of guessing what it says because I can't see it properly. Mm. Also, you do remember me. Before the forgetting, you were one of my most loyal <laughs> adversaries. When I ruled over the entire valley. Really? I don't think so. Oh, fine. If you insist. I love it. When it comes to Sunday Top Plateau, everyone knows that I'm the real king. <sighs> of course, there's little... I'm asking him what happened. I can only presume that something is blocking it and the land has grown parched. So we've got to try and unblock the river. So we'll let Scar and myself finish off our conversation. And now there's all sorts of Quickly, dark power mm. in, and the most tragic is it's all your fault. I don't think so. My fault? What? <laughs> yes. This all began when you abandoned the valley. <laughs> Though perhaps with my guidance you could set it all right. You sure it wasn't your fault, sir? Uh, must, must I do everything myself? By find what's blocking the river. In the mines. Beneath the cliffs on the sunlit plateau. So that's what we've got to do. We've got to go to the mines. So I'll be back with you when I get to the mines. Ah. What's to say now? Search the mines to f and then, and don't forget this part. <laughs> Fix it. You don't say, Scar, really. Only then will you restore life to my kingdom and uh, earn your way back into my good books. You may leave now. Okie dokie. <laughs>
I want to get a photo of Scar. Look. Scar, smile. Smile for the camera. Have you seen all these new ones? Scar, I'm cutting you off. There you go. That'll do. Hey. So, as promised, we're going to go to the mines. They're just behind Goofy's stall, they are, over there. In Sunlit Plateau. Go round the tree, there you go. Into the mines. Oh, and there's new um, rocks to get in here as well. Looks quite pretty, doesn't it, in a eerie kind of way. I'm going to get some of these rocks while we're down here, why not? What's up? Pick up a new kind of gem or something? <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Whoa, that's a long way down. Let's not go that way. Let's come back. Yes, let's turn around, please. Quickly. Yeah, that's better. Need to try another way. It's like a maze down here. You've just got to follow all the tracks and see where it leads you. Oh, there's another rock. Some red gem, did it? Pick up the little gold gems and what was that? Iron ore, I think. Oh no, another dead end. Although not quite as scary as the last one, because I wasn't expecting the last one. Come on, find me way there. Let's go. Is anything up this way? And of course, they all have to look the same, don't they? <laughs> all the areas. Get there in the end, I promise. See, look, we've got to get across there. That's the entrance. Again. There's a chest over there. Let's see. That's the really scary bit. <laughs> I think it takes me a few minutes here just to get my bearings. So just chat among yourselves. <laughs> yeah, let's break this. I'll smash it. And maybe we can get through. Yes. Yay. Oh, on me. Let's go. Alright, pick up that. Not like I haven't got enough um, rocks. I've got loads of them. So you can use them to make roads and stuff. No, can't push them out of the way, but luckily enough we can get past it. Oh, look at all these night phones. Get rid of some of these then. Done it, let's turn around and go. Oh, that one's a weird looking one, isn't it? Looks like aliens have landed down here. And buried the treasure. Let's go. Keep going. Whoa! Don't look down. Oh my god. Okay, which way should we go? Straight ahead, left or right? Oh, we'll go straight ahead.
Keep going, keep going. More night forms, let's go to these. These mines are pretty big, aren't they? That's another one to get rid of. I thought we couldn't get any further then. Clear the way. And again. Can we get to that? Yes. Yes, we can. Just to collect some resources while we're down here, eh? Ooh, there's the other chest. That's in it. Some coins. Very nice. Now I've just got myself a little bit stuck. Again. Don't go that way. That's better. Let's see what's up this hill. Aha! Uh -huh. So what's this sign say? Oh God, read the sign. Right, this sign basically tells us we've got to make some extra fizzy root beer. And it kills the night, night thorns or something. Do you have to go back and do that? So when I've done that, I'll come back to you guys and we've got to put all the ingredients, the root beer and the sweets in the barrel. Right, so I'll come back to you guys when that is done. Alright, back in a sec. So with the magic of video we editing, have work to do. as promised, we are here oh, now to talk hello. to Merlin. And they have a long conversation about what we've just done. <laughs> So, um, so there I am just telling him what I found in the elephant graveyard. But I, I do. A lion, you couldn't possibly mean Scar. That's right. He asked me to help him restore the river. Be very, very wary, my friend. Scar is just a Tetris as... Ursula, he's not working with you out of kindness. There's always something in it for him. Of all the villains in all the valley, I have to have a special aversion to Scar. Oh, really? I like Scar. He refuses to learn my name and insists on referring to me as oh. widow with the guy with the blue pointy hat. He told me that if I wanted to restore life to the pillar of nurturing, I'd 
have to go to the mines. Good gracious, I'd forgotten all about them. I went inside and explored them. They're huge, ah. definitely huge. And they are... I wish I could remember the roof is being blocked by the roots of some giant night thorns. My magic doesn't seem to work on them. I see, I see. Well, perhaps some more modern substance could. I found a note someone left. We are cracking candies and extra fizzy root beer. She said the <laughs> told you it was a long conversation. Brilliant. Oh. Before you arrived, there were only one way we could. <laughs> Sugary carbonated beverage. Really like root beer? <laughs> Precisely. Mm -hmm. Of course, they're only worked on the smallest. Ah, yes. But you could use it with the crackling candy. <laughs> but that just might be enough to stop the problem. Thank you. You're very kind. Right, so now we've got to make this extra fuzzy root beer. And I have to confess, I didn't get this bit on film. Didn't capture it. But what you have to do is there's some dried root beer in your inventory. Put that in, then put your uh, vanilla in, and then your sugar cane. And that makes your extra fizzy root beer. Okay? And I'm just explaining that bit here. You put it all in. But I've done it already. So then we've got to go back and put them, the extra fizzy root beer and the crackling candies in the barrel. So let's go and do that. Opens the rocks. I think I forgot where we are. I need to go up the ramp. Go up the ramp to the barrel. I'll find it eventually. Where am I going? Get more rocks, I guess. Oh, now the wall's done and tight. <sighs> I'm getting lost again. Yeah, I end up walking around, getting lost. <laughs> it's because everywhere looks the same. I do spot it in a minute. See, up there, up that little ramp that we can see. It's around here and up there. The bat and stick your stuff in that barrel. In goes your extra fizzy beer and your popping candy. So what have we got? Do you know? Return to this plateau to have a look at the river flowing. I think it's said or something like that. Back 
the game. And the river's flowing back to the land. Oh, what's that? Okay, who's she? I think we've got a follower. I think it's a she. It looked like us, didn't it? <gasps> okay, that's not spooky at all. We've got to find the portal now and follow her. Oh, you don't need to go back in there. Just come out of there. Yes, it looks very nice. Now turn around and come back out. Goodness of that. All we've got to do is find that portal thing now. There it is, let's go through. Okay, it's not scary at all. I've got to it. I didn't notice at first that she dropped something. It's easy once you watch it again on the screen, but I really didn't notice. So I just went around for a bit. See, because you've got to go around there to get it. memory she dropped, dropped so pick that up and then return to from like Valley. So we've got to go back the way we came back into Dreamlight Valley now. There we go. So which was it gonna go through then? Now we've got to show it to Merlin. So Merlin's in the restaurant, so we'll go and find him. Oi, Merlin, what's this? I found it. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, I see you solved the problem with the, the river in the slum. Oh, I, I... So, but by the look of your look on your face, there's something I oh, was bothering you. As I was as I was coming out of the valley, valleys. Well, I don't stop there. Will it, the forgotten look just like me? For tonight? Like you? Oh dear. This is very perplexing lately. Let me... Well, it's possible that the forgetting is a splinter of yourself. So apparently you left in the there. valley. Oh, we grew up. There are always parts of ourselves that we leave behind pieces <laughs> of us. But just because we've finished with... That doesn't mean they've finished with us. In your case, this may be manifesting itself in a bit of... No, no, Lainey. Mm-hmm. Cause and effect, it's tricky. <laughs> and here in the valley, things are all matters that you hold on to your heart. We all know that you only want what's best for the village. Well, I've always known that the key to it. Speaking of. Oh, yeah. The Orb of Nurturing. This can restore the pillar. Not so fast, something's wrong. But it's all dim inside. 
Yes, I see. Well, the orb feeds mm -hmm. off natural life. When you first place it in the pillar, this pillar took quite a long time. But once it did it, uh -huh. to, you must plant it in the ground before the pillar and let nature take its course. Okay. And this is going to take a few days, apparently. <laughs> Can help out nature with a bit of magic, apparently. Crystals that grow there. So, as luck would have it, we got some crystals, didn't we? Like when we first went in there, so we don't have to go come. back. Of course, it helps if I'm Hopefully, we'll have enough oh. to um, get the job done. Really having a long conversation with us, isn't he? Once you've done all that, speak to me. Off with you now. <laughs> lots Some to do, lots, got to lots to do. Lots to do, lots to do. So, we need ten rich soil. Now, how you get rich soil is you harvest stuff. And honestly, I had over 200 pumpkins and I still didn't get enough. But I'll show you. It, as long as you have, you, you can harvest in companion with you. It'll chuck out bits of enriched soil sometimes. So I've got one there, one out of ten. And I've looked with that bit, I've kept all the all my dream light, because I've got a thousand dream light. Luckily I had enough for all that. So I think I'll come back when I've got all my um, um, rich soil through harvesting. Because I harvest all this and I only end up with nine. So I ended up planting some wheat because it's quick and that gave me another one. Unless I didn't bother putting all this out. Sure is a so I think I will. I'll be back when I've got all ten of me rich soil guys, okay? Here we are, I've got them all. So now I've got to go and make what I need. Make the, um, it's not a potion, is it? It's, um, craft the, the elixir. So we're going to do that. Let's go and craft the elixir. Over to our crafting station. Let's go in the right section. There we go. That's it, that blue thing. It's quite pretty, isn't it? Craft. See, so them gems out of mine. That thousand elixir. And whatever else it was, luckily I oh the enriched soil. So we've got that now. Use the elixir in your. Oh, we've got to upgrade the watering can. Cool, we've got an upgrade to our watering can. Fantastic. So got a UC elixir on the watering can. There we go. And now we've got to go and plant the orb so it can restore itself through the power of nature. A moment, if you would. I need your help. Yeah, we've got to talk to him first. 
It's a piece of Yes, yes, I've got a note to the all. Thanks, really. Well, it ran Can along we go and plant it now. Yep, plant the orb. I've got to go back to the slip plateau. I've got to go back. Where am I going? Up. Oh, that's better. I've got to go here. And then we've got to find the pillar, which is down there. Pot it. Pot. There we go. Now, unfortunately, I didn't manage to capture the bit where the orb was done. For these, come back and we got it and we put it in the pillow. What if it might take three days to be honest? Three days of coming back to water it and then it was done. And then we had to go and speak to my favourite character that's in the uh, plateau. Oops, Scott! Right here. If you'd be so kind. Ah, I see you. Oh, I'm, going, I'm going too fast. I'm going past it all. I was going to read it all out. But it's going too fast. Are you happy, Scar? And he's leveled up, he's level two. I don't know what that is that I got. I'm gonna make him gardening because he's gonna level up pretty fast then. And that means I can get him to come with me every time I'm uh, harvesting as well. You there. I and that is it complete guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did give it a thumbs up, it took me a couple of days to put it together. Thanks guys, I'll see you again soon, bye for now.